regular subscribers. That's because, like I said, we are shifting. I have so much stuff behind me. I have to get this list out, fall 2020. Let's get to my concept behind this. A couple years into this, my concepts changed around these quarterly lists. Fall's my favorite. Fall will always stick around. I found some summer gyms, but I, I only wear a few in the summer. But fall, I, I've been missing some fragrances put away, haven't been wearing them, and this craving starts to happen. And it's happened with these ones I'm going to show you. <clears throat> with having such a big collection and knowing a bit more behind the scenes about having big collections, being a reviewer, getting content out there, getting new things all the time. I don't want this to be BS. So I'm going to commit to you guys. It, I purposely went through this. These are ones I will wear at least three. There's only 90 days in the fall, right? Give or take. So I'm going to purposely commit to wear each one of these three times. We'll go over to Instagram and do that. So I don't, unless something is just remarkable and available that I can put on the channel, but um, I've already talked about most of them already. So Instagram, in my stories or whatever, you'll see me wearing these. And that way, a bit of accountability and a bit of, like, this is real. I want to have real lists. I want to have real um, uh, emphasis. So these, I want to enjoy my fragrances. I bought these. I love these. I want to enjoy these. When I wear these, Work's done on my end, reviewing's done. So I get to just sit back and actually enjoy my day and just bask in it. So I'm going to approach, last fall, I just shut down the channel. I'm like, boom, because I got burnt out and I had to, I enjoyed my stuff, but didn't share with anybody about it. So this year I'm like, okay, what if I just, just quick pictures and whatnot, easy stuff, not much work. And we'll see if I don't get burnt out that way. Because I'll be, and then the other off days, I'll be working on my own stuff and be wearing that stuff and concepts with other people. So there we go. That's a long intro. Let's get into this. Fall 2020. We'll wear each of these three times this fall. I don't know why I'm rolling up my sleeves. I think I'll pick one to wear today. That's why spontaneous. I didn't plan that. I'm used to <laughs> unboxing, rolling up my sleeves so that this, this, this was automatic. Um, no order. This is no order today. Let's I, oh, well. Let's let's start hot. So obviously this one, Emperor Hind. <laughs> I cannot wait to get back to this. I have been wearing its other family members so much. Rising my sword <sighs> and Brindavan. I want to get back to this one. It's just I have other other ones that I like in summer better. This fall love right there. Emperor Hen. Hindi Oud. Up front Hindi Oud with their Mysore twang in the back. That soapy Indian spice in the back with the Oud forefront. It's right there. O-U-D in the name. Top heart basis Oud. I have people that didn't like Oud come in and they actually like this perfume, which to Oud lovers is astonishing to move up to a Hindi. That's usually last that everybody gets to is the Hindi Oud on, on the normal fragrance path. But some people don't take the normal route. Some people take their own route. You know, I like colors in my juice. You'll see the theme of fall, the brown, Theme of fall, young, Emperor Hen. Here's a surprise. I've been wanting to get back to this one. It's just an aldehydic coffee love Mora from Prim Perfume. Old school Prim. This is, I mean, the ingredients and the, the aroma chemicals in here. It's just different. It's different than what he has today. This stuff is golden juice. It deserved all the acclaims it got. I mean, tube roses in it, civet is in it, opium, frangipani, black pepper, oak moss, ash, cumin, golden champac, a sandalwood teak, cannonball flower. Oh, 
It's just a gorgeous composition. Mora Prim Perfumes. I'll wear that three times. I cannot wait to get back to this. It was when I bought it, I wore it like crazy. I love it. Just too much stuff. So I'm the purposeful thing. Purposeful to wear to intent. Okay, check this one out. It was gonna be Sova, but guess what? You know who you are. I thank you. I didn't ask permission. I don't, it's the first time we interacted together, but um, someone said this, he, he felt a little old for this and agreed with my um, punk, that the Slumber House is a punk fragrance, which I've related to on a lot of them. And he sent me this bottle. He gave me his bottle. I mean, I offered trades, I offered other things. He said, I love your channel, thank you. So I'm gonna get familiar with Or this fall. Um, from the bottle, it's it's so different than the other Slumber House that, than I expected. It's, it's got a powder fill to it. The Slumber Aid is less on it. <sighs> Cocoa. Oh, the cocoa note is just, I can smell it so strong from this nozzle. I can't wait to start wearing this one. Is it this one? Is it or? All right, let's let it be. First time I've ever wore or by Slumberhouse. This is spontaneous. I didn't plan it. <laughs> I was going to choose something else. I was going to choose a Luwak. Oh my gosh. The powdery left, I'm sure it will come back when I spray it on. It got tangy and such a strong chocolate. A boozed, sexy chocolate with wood. First time I've ever worn or. Man. It's gorgeous. Hmm. It's, it's. This is a chocolate lover's dream right here. Or by Slumber House. I can't, I don't think I'll ever have a fall. Maybe you guys follow me if we ever do. If I ever have a fall, I don't mention a tower. I don't think it'll ever happen. This is so locked into my fragrance memory uh, banks. It was, I got his sampler. It was the most warm perfume I had the first year I got into fragrances was Towers. And his DNA, I mean, will always be locked into. That's how I learned his house. I mean, it wasn't just about LDDM. It was about the DNA in all of them. I got his five samplers. I took it on vacations, went through the whole five pack. Um, and there are three MLs, just drenched them. And um, bought three bottles from there. and went through my bottles like crazy. Oku, the desert. Desert by Andy Tower. I chose this over LDDM. Could have either one easy. This just had a little more going on and I chose it, but LDDM would be just fine also. <clears throat> you guys know the story of Tower. All right, this I have to get familiar with. I wore it about three, four times last year, but really want to just enjoy this one. It's such a rare composition of Fouries. Shipper Oud Maharini. So I want to really enjoy this composition this fall. Oud, Iris, Shipre, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. They made me fall in love with the Iris. I would never say that was a Brandon fragrance in the beginning, but it has become one. So it's got the softened Brandon side that whatever exterior I try to put on with Oud and Ood has all those facets that I love. And it's a shipre, my favorite category. Yum. I mean, I get up in the mornings and I crave this. The Arige Rank videos, last time I smelled this, smelled it, oh, my nose salivation started to begin again. Ood Luwak by Arige Lador. There's something in here that's addicting. Um, it does become nauseating over time. It's this love-hate relationship I have with this perfume in particular. Right now, I can't wait to, it was gonna, I was gonna spray it on today. And I'm like, literally spontaneously, I'm like, ah, oh, nobody said, I've never worn one, might as well, now's the day. 
It was, it was going to be this one. <laughs> so now I'm still got that nose salivation happening for Udluwak. My the nozzles just covered. Look, barely any juice is gone. Look how covered that nozzle is. I don't know if it'll show up or not. Anyways, Udluwak. I mean, you guys know the story. It's Savet coffee. So instead, of, he doesn't use natural civet, so he got civet coffee to use as a top funky note in it, where the coffee runs through the civet and comes out of it, and uh, he used that as a note in here, and oud, packed with oud, and just, it's got this punch of projection sillage aroma chemical in it that that's, that's what you love, and when you hate it, it's like scrub it off for me. Like, so it's because it lasts forever. New one I got here, black sheep. So this is a black sheep tincture from the house of Matriarch. And um, her black leather toned up like crazy. And black copal, I think is in this one. Her most, her, her darkest, most daring fragrance that I've smelled. She might have others, but mm, when you want that strong leather punch, it's all here, just strong, manly, dark, rugged leather with, I mean, the goat hair, the animal note to it too. There's an attraction to it. There's a darkness to it. Mm, I'll be wearing this for sure. Black Sheep Matriarch. My other new one that I have to get to know um, LA, whatever, Rossi Fort, so many ingredients in this fruity, boozy. And, um, I think that's why I went with ore from Slumberhouse because the, 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 the DNA, the sillage reminds me a bit of Sova on Bach by Slumberhouse, some of the Slumberhouse DNA in it. So this will be my change up when I want that sillage, when I want that smell. So um, this ore doesn't have it at all. This is completely different work from Josh. Ah, it turned smoky too. Some dark note. It's so interesting. But <laughs> this is about Rossi Fort right now. It's Rossi's turn. LA whatever, his most recent limited release. Fruity Boozy. Rossi style, bit stronger for Rossi too. This is this is one of the strongest Rossi's I own. What else do we got here? Oh, got to come back to this. I've been dying for Tiger Lust. Mm. <sighs> Leather, musk, oud, ambergris, iris, osmanthus, and it's just. <sighs> layered with all of those. It's not like it's layered, presented, good. Just amazing. Dark, musky juice. Views up. I've over talked it, but um, definitely going to get three big day wearings for me on this. And when I spray these, I'm going to spray these. It's not like one spray and I wore it today. I mean, these will be days I bask in each of these perfumes. All right, to make it a 10 list, this is 10 plus bonuses, but check this one out. I, I've forgotten about this, and this thing is so good. Mon Siage Pays de Gan. A Gayak wood, fresh, great Siage DNA citrus in there. Jeez, I, I don't, man. I, oh, the Gayak wood, stunning, clean. There's a clean to it. Guy Aquod to it, Stiage is fantastic. Heavy, natural. I mean, look at the darkness of the juice. Oh, man, I miss this one. The, this is an all-star right here, and I just have not been talking about it, wearing it. So I pulled it out. I mean, I'm going to put these in this place where I will, I guarantee I'll wear these each three times and just get to know them better, get you know, more memories with them and whatnot and enjoy the stuff I bought, actually. All right, this one, for days when I don't know what I'm gonna wear, uh, th this is just the easiest rose oud I have, Tabac Aura, Ceylon Ba, 
Um, the 1619. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's heavy synthetic. It's just so easy to wear. I'd rather wear this than a Tom Ford. Um, I discovered this on the Ave perfume right when I first got going and um, fell in love with it. Just clean, easy. It's going to be like my grab go-to kind of thing. People love it. In other words, like a Tom Ford Rosenude, those kind of situations. All right, let's get into my three special ones. Two of these, well, you can buy them all. Bloodline. I need to just... I've never had a full day in this, and I, I have not done my first wearing. Maybe I'll show my first wearing on video. It's too dark for a hot day. Like, it just, the, even the scent just reminds me of working in the shed when I'm hot. And I, it, I, I don't, but in the fall, that's exactly what I want. I want that wood warming me up, that dark patchouli, that vanilla, and my coffee, whatever it is. So Bloodline will get three full wearings in it. Um, I mean, my other ones were, it wasn't like eight sprays. I could never do that with the samples I had. And that's what these wearings will be. And then I just get to bask in it. No thinking, no reviewing, no breaking it down, just basking and enjoying it. The other one I didn't, that I love, that I didn't get to visit all year is Colorado. I love this fragrance. So I'm gonna set it out and make sure I get three wearings on it. Uh, from Dion Spencer Hurwitz Perfumes. Mm. Immortal, Woods. I think that'll be, uh, I have a feeling there'll be another batch of that in December. I, I, I have no word, I don't know but I think they're setting it up to be yearly releases. That's my gut feeling, because I think they have all the ingredients. So um, look for that, sold out in a day. That took a whole day last time, so not 30 seconds, but be warned, it's a masterpiece, it's good. And lastly, I've worn this once, that's it. My late 50s, 60s Mitsuko, I wanna get to know this thing. Golly, I mean, that's that's fine French perfumery. I don't know how the French ever got talked out of making stuff like this. I have no clue. I don't know who bamboozled them. I don't know who pulled the wool over their eyes. I don't know who tricked them. <laughs> well, we can make so much money doing this. Okay, let's go for money, even though it's not this. This is just, I don't know how perfume left this. I do not know how perfume left this. Still trying to figure it out. I mean, this is masterpiece, gorgeous, another level work. Oh, I could smell it all day. I just sit here and do that all day. It's gorgeous. So I want to just dip into that at least three times and bask myself in that special days. That's what I have, fall 2020. I know it's early, but trust me, the fall will come fast. And um, we'll have some other specials on the channel in between then. You and yours, stay safe. Love you. Be blessed.